Today, I'm going to show you how I make buffalo chicken spaghetti in the crock pot. This is going to be good. So I thawed chicken breast about a day and a half ago and they need to be cooked, but I've been cleaning all day. So into the crock pot they go. I have three chicken breasts. I don't know what I'm going to do with them quite yet, but I'm just going to season them with salt, garlic powder, onion powder, and cracked black pepper. These chicken breasts are right out of my refrigerator, so they are cold. The cook time is gonna vary. I'm gonna cover with a lid. I'm also gonna set it to high. You can also do this on low and let it cook. Okay, so I have cream cheese. I have some uh, Frank's Red Hot uh, wing sauce. And I have this chicken, it's like an hour and a half into the cook time. And I think I want buffalo chicken dip. So I was just gonna shred this meat and do something else with it, but you know what? We're going for like a one crock pot, dump and go something. So. Let me get this opened up. New Nufichel, new you know, it's like that lower fat content cream cheese. You can go with your eight ounces of cream cheese. Get that in there. I'm also going to add this package of ranch seasoning. I'm really just trying to make a meal here. So I think what I'm gonna do, you can do this, make it a dip, I'm going to actually put like some sort of pasta into the mix. Okay, I'm going to open this up and I'm going to add this bottle of, maybe I'll do, yeah, I'm going to do the whole, this is a 12 ounce bottle of Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce going in. So I'm going to let this continue cooking for another hour and 30 minutes. Shred it up. And then I'm going to add some shredded cheese and pasta. It's going to be good. Okay, so this chicken definitely has to be done. I have my husband helping me in the kitchen. So the best way to shred chicken, so I'm told, from you all in the comment section, <laughs> and my brother-in-law does this in the crock pot, we are going to shred the chicken using this mixer. So you want to make sure you press it in. Let's see, on low. Okay, so this does a great job at shredding chicken. Yay, thanks for the uh, the tip, everyone. Okay, so I'm going to, I have this already on low. This is done at this point. So what I'm going to do, because I was really trying to figure out what to do with those chicken breasts, I'm going to bring this up to boil and I'm going to cook some spaghetti and throw it into the crock pot and that's gonna be dinner. Here I, here I have some shredded cheese. This is an uh, eight ounce block of shredded cheese. I'm going to add just a handful and mix it into the chicken as if it wasn't creamy and cheesy enough. So half of that's going in there. I'm just gonna grab the spoon and give everything a mix. And let's see. Yeah. Okay. You can actually already eat this as a dip. I do that all the time. But, okay, so cover with a lid, let it hang out. I have it at low heat because the chicken's already cooked, everything's shredded. Okay, so I'm going to add just a couple of teaspoons of salt into the water. Okay, I'm gonna, oh, some of it's broken at the bottom. But we're gonna take it over here to the pot and go right in. I'm actually just gonna add all those broken pieces as well. And you'll wanna just cook your pasta or your spaghetti until your desired doneness. That is up to you. I'm gonna go for somewhere like seven to eight minutes, maybe nine. I don't know, until it's done. So I wanted to clarify. I started off this video, or I started off making 
uh, chicken in the crock pot because I wasn't sure what to do with chicken breast that I had thawed in my fridge for like over a day. Then I thought buffalo chicken and I'll just sort of meal prep it or put it in containers and store it. Then I thought I need to cook dinner. Uh, let's add some pasta into the mix and make buffalo chicken spaghetti. So that's what I'm doing. Buffalo chicken spaghetti in the slow cooker slash crock pot. So there. Okay. So this is ready. This is where I need it to be. By the way, I used like 13 ounces of spaghetti. I did not have a full pound of spaghetti. So that's what I'm working with today. So I'm going to drain the pasta water. And you can always reserve like half a cup of pasta water just in case. Okay, so this is drained and it's going into the crock pot. There we go. And you know what? I'm gonna add the rest of the cheese right on top. Now we give it a mix. And this is going to be a buffalo chicken spaghetti. So glad that I didn't know what to do with the chicken breast earlier and had all the ingredients for this. And this is gonna be dinner. Garnish how you like, chopped fresh scallions, parsley, it's so good. So just keep mixing. I'm gonna garnish with fresh parsley, or like I said, scallion right on top. And this is dinner. So good. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.